Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to show you how to make this offset ratio adapter. Alright, to get started, like always, what we need to do is lay out everything we need. Uh, and today this is going to be a ratio of 1.3846, and it's going to be sized in a 203 diameter. So, it's a little bit fatter than the 187, so I know this is going to go into something rather industrial. Um, I apologize ahead of time if I, my speech is a little, little off. I had some dental work done, so a little tender. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, make sure we got the right gears. And like I said, it's for a 1.3846. So the first gear we're going to need is a 15A, a 13A, a 12B, and a 10A. So we'll get these mounted up onto the shafts and we'll continue. Now that all of our gears are now mounted to the shafts, we're going to mount them into the housings. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure they're greased and don't be too stingy with it. Uh, you better it's better to have too much than not enough. Get the central gear here. Make sure you get all the teeth on the shaft, everything like that. Drop it in. Make sure you got the right side on it as well. I like to give it a little turn like so, just to make sure it's all grinding smoothly. Now with the final gear, like so, make sure you get everything. Everything slides in nice and smooth. Just clean off your hands a little bit. Now this one's going to be an offset, so it's not going to go together like this. It's going to go together like this. So uh, the rotations are all going to stay the same. It's just however it wants to uh, hook up, really. So they need the, the kind of an L shape there just to get around something. Take your paper gasket. Get it seated on. Plop it in like so. Feels nice and solid. And what I will do is I'll kind of hold this together as best I can. Put the key in and give it a good turn just to make sure everything is working smooth. It feels a little jittery, but that's because it's kind of got uneven pressure. So we will screw this together and we'll test it again. All right, now that this is all together now, it's all screwed, let's try it out. And yeah, it's a little stiff, but let's see if we can't uh, fix that by using the other side. Sometimes it works better on one side versus the other. Okay, and that, that isn't turning at all. Okay, so now we have to see what the problem is. So what I do, uh, the first thing I always check is because my fingers are all greasy and this is a very small, not very grippy thing to turn, sometimes it's literally just a matter of it's a little greasy, you just can't get the, the tension on it. So I'm going to hook up something a little more robust to it, just uh, I'm not going to turn it, I'm not going to turn it on, but just to kind of something with a little bit of grip and yeah that turns just fine. Yeah it's just a little, little stiff in the hands at first because your fingers are all greasy and things like that but yeah that turns just fine. So let's see if we can do this here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it turning. I don't feel any kind of resistance on it, so that tells me it's good. Now that I've kind of turned it a couple times with the drill, yeah, it's it's just uh, it's a lot smoother now. So 
things probably just need to get lubed up too and everything. So yeah, that there is done. Uh, now all we have to do is stamp it just with the, uh, the ratio and the size, uh, just so if someone pulls this off in the future, they know exactly what they're kind of looking at. And what we do is right off the, right on the top here by the, where the nut is, we'll put here the ratio and here we'll usually put the size. So this will be stamped 0203, sorry, 0 0.203, then 1.3846. All right, so let's get that going now. And there, as you can see, 0 0.203 indicating the size, 1.3846 indicating the ratio. So every one rotation in, 1.3846 is gonna be out and that is going to make whatever this customer is putting it into a lot more accurate. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. As always, like and subscribe. And until our next video, have a good one.